busting my balls, Billy, okay? I can already tell that I don't like you. The fuck you bust on my balls? I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. It might be your first ball jump. Yeah, of course. How long did it take for the guy to come? What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Busting Balls. I'm your host, Eric Pinnell. OW20 is my squared. I do man shit, and this is 100% wide-owned podcast. Guys, thank you so much for listening. I hope everything's going well with your life. Let's get right into it. Did you see this bullshit story that was going around that this uh, loyal uh, Lewis Brinson uh, is calling out the Colorado Rockies mascot? They need to change the mascot name because when he was, I assume, up to the plate and uh, he heard a fan that comes there to root on uh, the, the Rockies, he's yelling dinger. Right? It's dinger. Like, you know, you hit a dinger. I guess that's like a home run uh, term or something like that. Or I don't even know if it needs to just be a home run. Like, I hit a dinger. Like, I, I think, you know, that, that's like a fucking baseball term. Well, this guy was up to the plate and he hears some fan yelling, dinger, dinger. And he's trying to get dinger, the mascot of the Colorado Rockies, attention as he's yelling, as the guy has on Colorado Rockies. I love how they're so bad looking for racists. That even if you say say a word that's even close to racial words, that they even want those words gone because they want they want this. They're calling on changing the name of Dinger, the freaking mascot, because it's it's too close to even. I mean, if you want to call it that, it's it, it's it's that close. It, it's it it doesn't seem like it's that close. It, it's it's Dinger, okay? It's not freaking. What what are they talking about here? I mean, seriously. I mean, it's 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 not even close to the word. So what are we going to do? Get rid of singer? Are we going to get rid of singer now? You can't say the word singer because it sounds so close. People, they're looking for racism so hard, and it's not even there. I mean, think about a majority of the racism that they point out. It wasn't even real. It wasn't even real. Like like the Bubba guy from the NASCAR that said that was a noose that was in the thing, and it was like, dude, that thing's been there for years, and it's on all the doors like that. It has nothing to do with what you think it is. But that guess what? That guy got sponsorship, and he bumps up a little bit higher in life, and he gets a little attaboy pat on the head, you know, from the uh, Kaepernicker type people that that just love just constantly looking for racists. So yeah. And, and, and here's what the video sounds like. And I mean, you can interpret it. If you want to hear things, you can hear things. But this is what it this is what it sounded like. I mean, there's a guy trying to get the mascots, uh, you know, attention. Here it is. I know it sounds. I know it sounds like that, but he's just saying dinger. Let me play it back without talking. I apologize. It's it's I know what, it, you know. And it's also a guy yelling. I mean, the guy's yelling. I mean, I mean, you can interpret a lot of words if you're fucking yelling. You're in a stadium. Anybody that's went to a basketball game, you can't hear shit because guess what? There's fucking 40,000 other assholes yelling stuff like that. You know, it, so th that's where it's at. Let me run it back one more time. And I get it. I get it. This guy, he's from, you know, he's he's up to bat and he's probably thinks he's hearing the N word. But at the end of the day, that's not what it was. And at the end of the day, Each Sunday, that's that's not what it was at all. That's not what it was at all. But guess what they want? They want to get rid of the mascot because there it is again. You can't so what? We got to get rid of singer and you know and, and every other word that sounds like give me a fucking break. This guy's trying to point to racism that wasn't even there. It wasn't even there, man. And, and, and you know what's going to happen? They're going to change the name probably because that's how much a bunch of pussies this world is now that you can just, you know, you're, you're, this is nonsense. And again, like I bring up on every five podcast, why would they think that fans that are going to games with black guys and people of color jerseys on their back that they have to pay good money for. You ever bought like an authentic jersey? That's like a $300 thing. You ever buy like the the, the Nike whatever? Those are like $100 jerseys, $89 jerseys. You get them on sale, they're like $59 jerseys. What racists are going out buying jerseys that have black guys and people of color on them? Why would you do that? Wouldn't you think like true racists would just be like, I ain't wearing no name of a black guy on it. It's just going to be, why would they do that? It 
and why would they why would they pay for parking why would which is like 20 bucks 25 30 bucks to pay for parking uh, you know, why would you uh you know buy some food that you're going to spend 25 30 dollars on that and then you're going to buy a 30 50 60 80 dollar freaking ticket to watch what racists would do that that's what i'm saying every they're always looking for these racists you know that that that, that are out there and stuff uh but why would racist that's why you know the nfl how they have all these things on the back of their helmets and shit and it was you know it's you know uh say her name brianna taylor type shit on the nba it's like do you think who are you talking to like like somebody like the nba do you think there's a lot of racists in the crowd first of all i've said it for a long time if black people would stop saying the n-word it would eliminate probably 98 percent of the n-word said in the world like literally and i know that sounds stupid but it's true if black people would just stop saying the n-word literally it would eliminate most of the n-words in the whole world you know, and I know they go, that's, well, that's not, they're not saying it. Bad. Well, if they just would stop saying it, guess what? Most of the N-words would be go, go away. You wouldn't even hear the N-word. I mean, so and what do you think this guy? This guy was yelling the N-word with, with thousands and thousands of people around. And, and it, like, he's going to do that for his safety, even if he was a racist. Like, you think he would do that for his safety? Like, he would, you know, like that was going to go well? Give me a break. And I know, oh, but there's crazy people. Shut the fuck up. He didn't say it. So, so these crazy motherfuckers that are out there, man, it's, it's just ridiculous, dude. It, it's just gone to an all time. We're just getting all time high of stupidity. And, uh, and, and, and that's where we're at, man. I mean, it's, just, it's, it's where we're at. I seen uh, that idiot Cuomo, uh, the governor of freaking uh, New York, had to, had to resign uh, as of today, which it doesn't even matter. You know, it's, it's just like, like here in Chicago when uh, Lori Lightfoot, the worst mayor in, mayor in America besides fucking Blasio or whatever. That guy's horrible, too. And uh, just right neck and neck with them. But, you know, it doesn't matter if they resign any of these fucking liberal Democrat morons, because guess what? Another liberal Democrat moron is just going to come up right behind him with the same policies. And they're just going to go, here's the playbook. Play the playbook. That's all they're doing. That's, so it doesn't matter. It's not like it's not. Like, it's like California. They're going to recall freaking Newsom. Guess what they're going to get? Another Newsom. That's all they're getting. I mean, people. It's like no, this is going to be better. No, it's not. You don't think he's not playing by the playbook? They're just going to get another person that's just going to play by the playbook. It's re- it's 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 the same thing. So you know, and, and ain't nothing going to happen with that guy. He's probably going to settle out of court. He ain't going to go to jail. And if he does, it's going to be a fucking you know house arrest bullshit or something like that. And I, look again, I don't even know if he did anything. You know, I, I look, it's, you know, I've seen some, some, some women on some things. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. It, it sucks when you're in politics because they play dirty as hell, you know, or, or when you're in the public and you have power and stuff, they play dirty as hell. Who knows? Who knows? But, uh, you know, it's funny how they care about this, how, you know, maybe he's grabbing some asses and stuff like that, but they didn't give a shit when he's putting COVID patients in freaking nursing homes and it's killing old people. They didn't give a shit about that, that story at all. But guess what? A woman gets her ass cupped and he's, you know, and he says a couple cute little things and gives kisses on the cheeks and he pr- tries to play. I'm an Italian guy. And that's what we do. Oh, they give a fuck about that. That's like big story. That's how stupid the world is that that literally, dude, he fucking killed people by putting people in fucking nursing homes. How irresponsible is that? It's so funny how people don't realize like murder which that's not murder. I, I wouldn't call it murder that he killed people, but pos- some people would call that murder. But I've always said, you know, murder's worse than rape. But some people put, ra- and it's and rape is horrible. But the, you know, but murder is is worse than rape. Like when you kill somebody, that's worse than anything else. Like you know, there all the other bad things are ranked up there pretty high. But murder is the worst thing. You kill somebody, that's the worst thing. Okay, that's the worst thing. But nowadays, people don't even look at it like that. They. You know, you, you they, they look at sexual assault like it's the, you know, or, or like sexual harassment, like that's the worst thing. Like this is the worst thing. But all, all the old people that died in the nursing homes, that's not that's not a big deal at all. We, we, we're not going to really investigate that or anything. He was doing so good. He was doing so good. Speaking of murder, uh, Chicago, uh, like I said on the last podcast just a few days ago, uh, we had a young uh, young police officer, a uh, female police officer, got murdered uh, by, uh, you know, a guy sh- that was just a n- normal traffic stop. And guess what? He shot her in the head, and he shot the other uh, cop in the head, too. And uh, there was three of them. I, I, you know, there was uh, two guys that were brothers and then a woman. And the woman fled, and they're not charging her for nothing, which I get it. It's like, look, what did she do? I don't know. She's hanging out with two fucking killers. That's what she's doing. And last podcast, I did say 
that this cop had a two month old baby, and I and it comes to find out that was uh, not true. There were I, my wife told me that there was people that were trying to start up a GoFundMe for fraud. And uh, with that two-month-old baby story, and they were going to get the money for it. That's where that story came from originally. So that that's not true. Thank God, you know, there's not a baby out there that's two months old and their mother died, but this poor woman died. And uh, Chicago, and like a lot of cities here in America that are liberal ran, they are fucked right now. They are fucked. And by these policies, it's it's not going, it's not getting any better. OK, there's there's nobody that, that that's going to, you know, if somebody tells you that like Chicago ain't that bad right now and they feel like great about Chicago and what direction it's going in, they're fucking disconnected or they're lying. Because if you live in Chicago land, you know, it's not going in a good direction. It doesn't feel like nobody has uh, a control of it. It doesn't feel like uh, it's going in the right direction crime wise and just financial wise. And it doesn't feel like there's like true leadership. And that that's the truth. That's the truth. I don't give a fuck if that, you know, somebody backs Lori Lightfoot. You're, you're lying to yourself. If you think that she's got control of this city and she's a true, you know, a great leader and, 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 and this city's going in the right direction. Cause it's not, it's not. And, uh, listen to this story right here. This guy that was on the news the other day. This morning. So from seven o'clock last night until six eleven this morning, 11 hours and 11 minutes, 45 people were shot. Yeah. That's more than four people per hour. And yeah. Anybody cool. doesn't think that Chicago, uh, the south side, the west side, are war zones at this point in time. They need to look at the numbers again. You're from. They're not going to look at them. I know this is very personal to you. Yeah, it is. And it's it's really unfortunate that it is a war zone, Chicago. And I recently had a situation. My younger sister called me last week. I was in Italy. And she told me that the night before she was leaving the grocery store when two people, a man and a woman, walked up to her and attacked her. It was unprovoked. She had her three month year old son with her, my nephew. They beat her down to the ground, kicked nice. her in the face, kicked her in her oh, stomach, and good they pulled people. a gun out on her and good told her people. that they would kill her and her son. Yeah. These are issues Devils. that many individuals across the city, Devils. whether you be on the south sides or west sides, where it has historically happened, the violence. And, and, and w if this is a true story, which this is, you know, this happens all the time in these cities. If somebody was like, the, it, it, look, man, if you're going to be like that, where you're threatening to kill little kids and kill mothers just on the streets while they're going to the store, you're going to get put down like a fucking dog. OK, because you clearly do not respect life you, and, and you're going around terrorizing people. And dude. There is great people that live in these bad neighborhoods, and they don't want this shit going on. But guess what? They can't fucking say anything because the culture says no snitching. They can't say anything because if they do snitch and they get fucking outed, guess what? Their kids get fucking harassed and murdered. They get harassed and murdered. You, you know, so nobody wants to step up because it's a fucking terrorist organization of fucking people in these neighborhoods that are just continuing this bullshit and leadership doesn't want to attack it these fucking neighborhoods we got two neighborhoods almost every year that has 70 murders in them every year you don't think you could fucking attack that if you didn't want to and then who cares if, if local leaders go you're harassing us motherfucker you got 70 murders and 450 shootings in your neighborhood every year you're clearly not working on it there's devils in these neighborhoods and you got to get them out because they're killing people, they're terrorizing people. There's little kids getting shot every fucking year that that don't deserve to go out that way or get. To, could you imagine? Could you imagine that there's fucking five year olds and three year olds and eight year olds that are getting shot that are just outside playing? That that's what they deserve. These poor little babies. Give me a break, man. Give me a break. And like I say, every other fucking five podcasts, I'm a comedian. I shouldn't even be talking about this shit. I should just be talking about pussy and dick jokes. This is ridiculous. But guess what? If nobody fucking says anything about this stuff, it never gets spoken about because they only like it one way. They only like the stories one way. You would never hear about this stuff on regular TV. You won't ever hear it because as soon as you bring up anything about fucking neighborhoods that have anything about African-American in them and, and they got fucking a lot of shootings and murders in them, which is just a huge human co co uh, comment on a human it has nothing to do with skin color it's a human comment on a human they lose their shit you can't make any comments on it because instantly it goes to racism oh yeah well why don't you figure out the fucking problem because there's good people living in these neighborhoods and you're fucking you're not doing anything about it okay it needs to be dealt with all right you're ruined and it's spoiling into the rest of chicago there's shit that is popping up 
you know, in Chicago that normally wouldn't pop up in certain communities and neighborhoods because now the criminals know it's game on and they're not going to do anything fucking about it because that's where it's at. The, their policies are shit. These motherfuckers clearly don't know how to run government and they don't know how to run these cities and states. They need to get the fuck out of the way and let adults do fucking adult work. It's not always pretty. But guess what? If you don't want to fucking, you know, get your fucking hand smacked, don't do bad things. That's where it's at. You don't want to get smacked up in the court system. Don't fuck around because it's out of control. It's out of control. People are getting carjacked left and fucking right in this city. People, there, there's violent crime, violent crime. I'm not even talking about the fucking. Uh, I'm not even talking about the uh, uh, shoplifting. That's fuck. That's even. That's another fucking layer of the bullshit that they got going on. People are leaving the state of Illinois. People are leaving New York. They're leaving these states. They're leaving California. They, they fucking uh, the fuck face that they're they're they're. Uh, recalling over there they're leaving these cities they're leaving these states and they just double down like they're doing something good that's what they're doing they just double down like they're doing something good they're too stupid to even see what they're doing they're ruined they're too dumb because guess what they got a bunch of people to think like them and pat them on the head and go you're doing a good job Pfft. some low standard having motherfuckers i'll tell you that much low well, standard you- low standard having motherfuckers Ah, yeah, this is supposed to be a comedy podcast. This is ridiculous. I, I, I just feel like, but if you don't say anything about it, you, you know, and, and even try to try to send your kids to Chicago City Schools. Like, if you live in the city, try to send your kids to those schools. <laughs> you know, you're sending them to public schools because the or private schools because the public schools suck. They suck. And I know people that are listening to this or, or they'll hear this, they'll go, not all of them. Yeah, there's like a few that you got to test into. But, you know, but for the majority, if you're defending Chicago public schools, you're a fucking moron. You know, you're just a moron. Listen to this, listen to this uh, parent right here talking about the teachers union and, and how the school systems are going in their community. If you require masks, I won't send them. I don't know what I'm going to do, but you give me five days to figure that out. If I have to homeschool them, I will quit my job, I will spend all of my wealth figuring out how to keep them out of a mask. Never again will I mask them. Yeah! Ever. And there you go. There you go. And that's how, you, dude, that's how you do it. If you don't like where your kids are going to school and how they're doing it, take them the fuck out. I, look, man, this is fucking war. This is war right now. And, and whether you know it or not, it's war. And, and there are, dude, they already got their fucking tanks and everything and all their fucking soldiers fucking, you know, boots all laced up. You, if you don't know that, that's what they're doing. And if you don't make moves, they're taking ground, man. They're taking ground. And the only way to fucking stop these people that are running these states into the fucking ground and then all these cities in the ground is to fucking stand up and tell them this. We're not putting up with this shit no more. We're not putting up with it. We're not, you ain't going to have any of these kids at your schools. We're done. We're done. We're showing up to your fucking uh, mayor's mansion. We're showing up to your fucking governor's mansion. You're done. Oh, this is ridiculous, man. Masking children. You got to be kidding me, dude. These fucking kids are going to be so fucked up. You watch. They're going to be so fucked up. That's not even breaking news. Could you only imagine? Could you imagine like, like, like these kids that you have to put a mask on them? How many kids are dying from this shit? How many kids died? And, I, and again, they always got some pussy that's always like, oh, lots, lots are. How many? Lots. I mean, it's, and and they could spread it to grandma. It's like, shut the fuck up. I'm so sick of hearing that dumb motherfucker that's like, like all they are is, is just a bunch of parrots and they're just fucking, they just hear something and they, you ever, you ever see that like on the news, like where they, they say these catchphrases that go around for like a week or two and then everybody are saying these catchphrases, you know, how, you know, problematic that was one, remember when problematic was going around where it's like, it's problematic. You know, super spreaders, super spreaders. And they just start, it, it's, it's, it's all these fucking words that they just do these catchphrases and, and they just, they just roll with it because they're getting on page. They're playing the playbook. 
And that's all they're fucking doing. Guys, Bustin' Balls Podcast on most uh, platforms. Eric Pinnell Comedy on most platforms. Check me out on TikTok. That's my that's my thing. And uh, if you like the podcast, please share it. If you don't like the, want to share it, I totally understand it. I get it, you know? But uh, if you do, I would appreciate it. And uh, thank you guys for listening. Uh, I do see the numbers going up. It's it's amazing. I keep saying that, but I'm being dead serious. They always seem to be going up. And uh, I hope everything's going well with you. I hope you're getting your money. I hope you're jumping in that stock market. I hope you're jumping on that cryptocurrency. And I, and I hope you're just focusing in on your money and, uh, and 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 just going higher and higher in life and being you know continuing to be happy. And uh, and I just hope your family's happy and uh, healthy. And uh, guys, thank you so much for listening to Bustin' Balls Podcast.